upper Mazaroni is one of Guyana's most amazing places. It should be in bucket list. It's not easy, but we had to fly there, we had to do logistics, um, and it was an unbelievable trip nevertheless. So we had about 2,700 feet above sea level here in a little, uh, a little uh, Paratang River, which is a tributary to Mazaroni River. And this is above camera. We had a guy named Tyson, and uh, he was an amazing fellow. But the guides also are, are, are sometimes the people who make the trip special, because they're willing to be a part of your group. Um, I said earlier, never believe Amarinians and Uncle Bobby when they talk about this stuff. Because Uncle Bob said, to get to my poor father, oh, you just hit a bump and you just walk over this bump. In five minutes, you know, just walk over the bump, jump in another boat, and you're there. Yeah. So, we walk for half an hour, half dead, men shoulder done, and everything like that. And, um, and we didn't even reach the boat. So we kept walking some more, and it was hot. This was like midday we were walking. But we got to the, we got to this falls, and this was an unbelievable. You could you forget all the hard work you had to do to get here. We got we had to fetch the boat, the, the engine, the, the fuel, the gear, the load. Because we spent a few a few days in this area just soaking. Because he say you must spend some time. So so we uh, we we just we, you can't go here and, and leave in one night and come. Back. But uh, this this this. Falls is above 200 feet high. As you can see, you can see one of the guy Tyson standing here. This this guy here. So imagine when he gets down, he goes just about this high. It's, it's unbelievable. So I, I probably took about 200 pictures right there. And while they're taking the pictures next, you got things like this up now. Where you got my cars going yellow, and like red and green, scarlet. These are red belly macaws, just flying all over the place. Um, in the upper Mazaruni, they're not threatened by, 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 um, by the wildlife trade, so they, they're more on them. And then after, after we came out of, of uh, Maipuri, we decided to go to find another falls that Uncle Bob told us about, which, which I was at least lucky to share with him, that we were able to get it from below. He had never gotten it from below next. So this is the Mazaruni River beyond my um, my Puri going towards Chai Chai. So you see how much water is in the river. And we stopped at this village. This village is the village landing for Chai Chai village. And Chai Chai is up on top this on the plateaus looking towards Mount Paraima in the west. So just four of us went on the trip and the guy and his and his girlfriend, I see that carry his girlfriend in. <laughs> so it was six of us in this big boat here, this big boat here. So imagine three more of us got to fit in this boat. So I asked Tyson, I said, how far is the falls? He said, well, I'm just down there. <laughs> but Tyson is black. And he, he probably related to Uncle Bobby and the Amerindian. <laughs> but Tyson's a strong guy, really good guy. Um, and so he took the bow rope from the boat and he tied it about 100, 200 feet up in the air. So he's going climbing up the side of the mount of the river. Next. And he tied it. Now the water, you saw go back to the image before, the water in this river here is below these rocks. Go. Next. So we got to a point where the rocks started to be higher than the water level. We're looking at four people in this image of a river bed, and you could hear the river roaring below your feet. So this boulder here is probably as big, this boulder here where Bruce is, is probably as big as this whole room that I'm standing in, this room. Yeah, and we walked for like about three hours, three hours up and down. I didn't feel so good at the end of the walk. Because <laughs> I had about four pounds in my back up and down. I was I'm taking pictures. And we went to this. Next. We got to Chai Chai. So Chai Chai, this is the river. 
Chai Chai River, Mazaluni River coming down here. So we, we spent um, one night there. We should have spent more time here because I don't believe we could ever get back. Because it was a risk we took because it's a gorge. And so once the rain falls up at Philippi and beyond, you actually could be, we could, we could get some serious problems. Um, we slept up above the falls in the bush here on a little ledge about half the size of this room, six of us. You know, it was a wet, damp evening. But the sprays from the falls were just coming in. But I mean, it's like memories that you would never forget. Never, never, never. 